Alright, welcome back to Mylon's Do Re Mi Fantasy. And we made it to a concert hall. Yeah, we're gonna go see Kiss live. Whoa, love those guys. Yeah. Wait, what's they this? They met up with Scooby Doo. Oh, uh, we'll be, we'll be like climbing from the curtains and swinging from the chandeliers. That sounds dangerous and maybe illegal. Once Kiss starts rocking, there are no <laughs> rules in place. That's what Pee Wee the Rat tells you. Yeah. And also what Pee Wee Herman tells you. Oh no, that's Pee Wee the Rat right there. I know, but Pee Wee the Herman <laughs> says. <laughs> Pee Wee the Herman Crab. <laughs> yes, he says very similar things. <laughs> oh, this looks like a pretty nice place. You got these statues. And ah! Oh, Whoa! They they're rude. Just like those trees, they they do the thing when you stand on them. Yeah. Oh, those are those blocks you can push. Yeah. The flute gives us the magical block pushy powers. Cool. Oh, that doesn't look good. Nah. We'll bubble it and save it for later. So what instrument are we purifying this time? I forget. Looks like you forgot, too. Accordion, I want to say. Oh, yeah, it was the accordion last time. That's right. Okay. Because I made the joke all accordion to plan yep. in the video title. That's the one. Yep. And I missed those notes, but I'm not going to go back. Right, because it seems like it's a long way. Oh, it resets the blocks, too. That seems like a lot of work just for a couple notes. What's that supposed to be, anyways? It's, um... God, I don't know what they're called. Like castanets? Yeah, probably. Those are the little, like, clappy things, right? Mm-hmm. The instruments? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, we are in a concert hall. Would expect yeah. to see instruments here. I mean, that's what Gene Simmons plays. Yeah, he plays the castanets. You're right. Mm -hmm. With his other bandmates, uh... Don't, uh... don't, don't, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Maybe Gene Simmons is the only one in the band. I'm pretty sure. That sounds about right, because I feel like I don't know the name of anyone else in there. Keith there's... Richards? No, that's the Rolling Stones. There's Gene Simmons, and uh, John Simmons, right. and Jane Simmons. And uh, Paul so, McCartney. Oh, hey, look, there's the goal, but is that the real goal? Oh, did they hide one? Did they pull a fast one on you? Yeah. Is this like a corporate conspiracy? Yep. Uh, we have to find the chemtrails. Oh no! Mylon, stay safe. Remember to walk through the grass in order to cure your diseases. Look, Mylon, stay safe and stay woke. Damn, you're right though. That guys just following you around. They seem like yeah. a pain to deal with. Yeah, they're a real pain in my blood too. Right. In my tube. Oh, it's a little club. What's in here? Oh, oh, you, the symbol of the door. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not saying that you walked into a club. club. <laughs> I'm not saying you walked into like a like a dance club. Like one of those places that Jason Derulo rules. Right. Jason Derulo is. Uh, yeah, that's the guy. We haven't even gotten a trumpet yet, so... This is a cool little thing. It plays a little note every time they hit the, uh... The little xylophone down there. That's how you can tell it's a... F it's a do re -mi fantasy. There was a... Was there a Kirby level like that, or am I thinking of something else? Where, like, the... The background's made out of music stuff, and you can hit it to, uh... There's a Sonic Advance 2 level like That's that. That's probably what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Which I think is a neat idea, but if I remember correctly, that particular level just produced nothing but, like, cacophony. Um, I've heard people, like, actually, when I say people, I mean, like, specifically the run button people, like, complain about it, but, right. like, the noises aren't, like, that loud or anything, so, like... I just feel like they're not in tune with the music, maybe? No, they're not, but it's, Which, like... that's the problem. I mean, no sound effects are in tune with the music, so, like, of any game ever. Yeah, but there's better ways of hiding them. And there are definitely 
games that have like content. Like, uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn has like a music level where everything's okay. tuned to the background music. Yeah, but it's it's still like fine. Like it's not a problem. Right. It's just not as good as it could be. You're just making it a problem, Chorps. <laughs> Leave Sonic Adventure 2 alone. I've got 99 problems and all of them are with music-based video game levels. Okay, what about Rystar's music level? I don't- I've never played Rystar. You should play Rystar, it's really oh, good. Okay. So what did that secret goal get us? Did it get oh, us anything? Actu- um, have you ever played, um, Super Mario World? Oh, it's- so it's like that thing where it wouldn't give you the exit. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Mario and Mylon have a lot in common. Right. They both wear overalls. Their names have an M, an I, and an O in them? Yep. Um, they have hair? Yeah, yeah, they both have hair. Um, in Mario Galaxy, uh, sometimes he picks up musical notes. Yeah, uh, sometimes uh, Mario also uh, is in a bubble? Or picks up bubbles? Yeah, uh, the Great Gianna sister sisters use uh, bubble gum, and those are Mario ripoffs. So right. Oh no. Oh, you you're fine. Okay. Yep. I was worried for a second. Thank Gianna. <laughs> I like that this uh, level is sort of like within this little stage. Yeah. Uh oh. Not again. Oh okay. <laughs> I I had a, a secret cutaway power up. Mmm, I see. I think these mice are throwing cheese at me. I think it's really cool how a lot of the background stuff is interactable. Like when you jump on the bells, they make a little tingling. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, you've got a little border now here. Is that just for effects, or does that mean that this is like a secret or something? What? What? The, the curtain? Little, yeah, the curtain border. No, it's it's been here. I, it has... I talked about it like five seconds ago, Chorps. Did... You got to stay up with the time. Oh, I I legitimately didn't notice until we entered there. Has this been for the whole world? Am I just that, or is it just I, for this level? I think it's just for this level. Okay. I don't think it was in the last level, but I'm honestly not sure. Okay, I was pretty sure that it didn't happen in the last one. Okay, I just checked the thumbnail. No, it wasn't in the last area. <laughs> okay. Well, at least at least we figured that out. Yeah. Another mystery solved. Good work, team. Yeah. Just like Scooby-Doo, who hung out with Kiss, who's doing the concert here right now. Yeah. Except I think it turned out to be a dream the whole time. Wait, what? Wasn't that the conceit of Scooby-Doo meets Kiss? It I... turned out to be a dream the whole time because Kiss isn't actually full of magical boys. Wait, but I can't believe that, like, <laughs> Scooby-Doo, <laughs> like, met John up. Cena, but, like, whoa, we gotta settle back down. No way these kids would ever meet Kiss. Well, okay, so Maybe he... it's just so crazy that kids nowadays would know who Kiss is. Or... <laughs> so here's the difference, though, is, like, John Cena didn't turn out to be a magical boy and they didn't fight a dragon. I'm sorry, but, uh, <laughs> John Cena stopped a boulder all by himself and then they bobsled it down on his unconscious corpse well no that's just that's just stuff that they've found like from john cena's like home videos he stopped a boulder that wasn't the rock yeah well no they heard that he stopped dwayne the rock johnson and misinterpreted it oh okay man these cast nets just do not stop also they went to zombie island and that had real zombies on it. Well, okay, you're right. But that's in a different continuity. And they met the Harlem Globetrotters. No, that's and real. those guys are basically Badger. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of Magic Johnson. Remember that time the Harlem Globetrotters had a TV show, though? Where they were at Magic and superheroes? I don't know if that was the Harlem Globetrotters. Nope, that was definitely the Harlem Globetrotters. Wait, when was this? Uh, about the same time as Scooby-Doo. I remember one time they met Snow White, but it was like a strange, like, almost steampunk version. Oh, that's kind of cool. But I mean, like, yeah, there's totally a show where the Harlem Globetrotters are the superheroes who also play basketball. Did they ever team up with Hammer Man? Because I feel like that's, like, a, a collusion, like, from the pages of Marvel Comics almost. I don't think so.
so it seems like, unlike the other ones where everyone's been like, oh, it's a bad time here, this level is just like, oh, welcome to the concert. <laughs> like, is there something bad supposed to be happening here? I mean, I guess not really. Um, I mean, I guess those music pages flying around is a little weird. Yeah, that's, that's uncomfortable. Um, I don't know, this guy on these statues doesn't seem too great. Oh, maybe. Oh, I see you got a, another secret door you gotta find. I mean, we saw it, but you have to figure out how to get there. Uh-oh, what are you gonna do here? Maybe we'll never figure it out. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. <laughs> well, this is a good bonus. Yep. Really impressive. I find the secrets, I don't solve them. Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't know this was a fucking less than 100% LP. Yeah, I get 100% of what matters. Oh, okay. Which is the joy of yeah. playing Mylon. Yep. And now I'm 100% done with this video game. Uh, I thought you were going to say 100% lost in this level, because that's what it looks like. No, I'm only like 25%. Okay. There's like two paths, Sharps. Have some faith in me. Oh, okay. Can you smush him? Yeah. Oh, you can! That's cool. I'm glad you showed that off, uh, you know, doing the live recording that you're doing right now. Mm-hmm. One second, I'm gonna hack into this game. boop 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 Whoa, that was a good hack. Yeah. Uh, he can jump on the drums. Drums now. Yeah. That's pretty good. Now, wait for this concert to go live. This is my drum solo. <laughs> yeah, good. I mean, it's not quite to the level of, like, Neil Pert, but it's pretty good. I don't even know who that is. That's the guy from Rush? Isn't that the guy from How I Met Your Mother? No. Neil Pert Tracaris? <laughs> no. Neil Pert has a 360 degree drum kit, so he can just, like, swivel in his drum chair, and he can play whatever drum he wants. Wait, he sits on a drum? Yeah. That's what you were supposed to take away from that, yes. I guess, like, one of those little drums wouldn't be too bad to sit on. Yeah, like a snare drum? Yeah. Or maybe something bigger than that, like a tom. Why would you sit on a guy named Tom? Well, Tommy Wiseau deserves to be sat on because of his disgusting attempts at movie making. Yeah, put that in your pipe and sit on it. <laughs> You're right. Oh, that's how you get that. Yep. You are trying to get that before, I thought you just were failing at it, but apparently there was a secret. That's actually, uh, the secret item that I missed yeah. up earlier. Oh, okay. It's so a it, Yep, I got it. That's it's good. all good. This is a pretty neat, I think, more so than the other ones, this is a neat use of the, the set pieces. Yeah. Because, like, the other ones are pretty good, but this one, I think, takes a lot more advantage of it, because also all the, like, little sound effects, like the little symbol. Mm-hmm. And my favorite instrument, the wooden block with an arrow on it. <laughs> right. It's not as good as the actual wooden block instrument, but, I mean, it's mm -hmm. pretty good. Whoa, are we going to a carousel? Nope. 